what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more uh doom patrol this is season one episode eight i don't know what it's called we'll find out when we um so it's been a couple weeks since i uh watched episode seven i think it's actually been over a month at least um Basically, I just got a little bit busy and had to drop the show for a little bit, but I fully intended to finish the show uh, regardless. Like, um, I don't know if I'm going to watch a couple more episodes and then release them and then take another break between it. I don't know. It depends. It really, really depends on whether or not I have the time to watch the rest of the episodes now-ish. But yeah, um, we'll just take it as we go. Um, this is episode 8. Um, let's get into it. Agent Wilson, the second we get your signal, we're coming in hot. You got your ticket to the freak show? Yeah. I think I remember this episode was called uh, Jane the Dark. Right? How bad is it, Agent? Abnormal to a factor of what? Stand by. Lots of cross dressing? Agent Wilson! Agent Wilson! Damn it. Fuck! Nothing shocks me in the show with anymore. Who the hell knows what that freaking thing was doing while it was inside me? It was getting Just revenge. rewired your circuits and passed up your nutrient tank. You're fine. Should we at least just spray a little lice on here? Maybe you know, hang an air freshener. Maybe you could light a candle. Cliff. Or, um... I'm Agent Charles Forsyth, DOD. DOD? This just kind of reminds me of Deadpool. You and I are going to accomplish great things together, Captain. The radioactive energy within you is formidable. Jane? Hey, I'm glad you called. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about what I said last night. That wasn't me. That I had a rat, rat in my head. It's okay. I get it. We all have rats in our heads sometimes. Is this even Jane? Are you gonna come home? Um, is this... Wait, I'm sorry, who is this? The Claire. Oh, right, right. Hi, Claire. Listen, I got a jam, okay? Just let Rita know I'm having a little thing tonight at Doug's place, and I hope she can make it. Whenever Jane's feeling particularly low, this one persona manifests and runs off to some ridiculous fantasy life she's created for herself. She's by far the worst of the 64. Who? Karen. Some milk toast layabout named Doug. Go get him, girl. She's oh, broken actually, up with very him about a thousand times, but somehow she Being always manages to win him back. Look, I'm not doing this again. Wait! Wait, I'm so sorry I left! I made a mistake! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Doug, I know you have no reason to take me back, and I can't guarantee that things won't end up the same way they did last time, but the one thing I can you guarantee is up. that I'll love you forever. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> oh, poor guy. Danny Cakes, 178 Danny Street, Springfield, Ohio. There's no Danny Street in Springfield. Follow the cake, Vic. Always follow the cake. This doesn't look like the same place. It's like not as bright or anything. The same place, right? But it's... Where's Niles? Welcome 
Welcome to Peeping Tom's Perpetual Cabaret. I'm your host, Marley Corrupt. It appears we have two new guests with us. Oh, look at these two serving us Terminator King Tut realness, honey. <laughs> the word on the street is that your friends have now scored. Who told you that? Danny did. Who's Danny? No, oh, child, is your battery slow? Danny the town? Danny the street? Danny's okay. on the street? Danny is I the street? I think she's saying Danny is a street. The street's a he. Danny's genderqueer, and they use non-binary pronouns. Uh-huh, okay. Danny travels all over the world, picking up those of us who have slipped through society's cracks. We call ourselves the Dannysons. Danny, do you know Niles Calder? So do we. Now is messing. <gasps> oh my God! Yay, Rita, you made it, Karen. Hey, Karen. <gasps> Cliffy, right? So great to finally meet you in person. Jane's told me all about you. I loved you, and I tried to give you everything so you could have the best life possible. We came from miners, goddammit. Nothing to our name but coal. And now, now you're willing to throw it all away on that trash witch whore? Whoa, Mom. <laughs> Whoa. Harsh. Right? Um, oh, sorry, Cliffy. I would totally invite you in, but I really need tonight to go well. Oh. And you're sort of weird and creepy. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. We were hoping that you could tell us. Yeah, that's why we followed your cake. Can I ask you why your street is so empty? Trying to keep a low profile. We're on the run. Darren Jones is getting closer. What happened to him? He became morally corrupt. Oh, Karen. you? Oh, you fucking savage. What are you to do? Shut up. It wasn't easy yanking that twat off the fucking driver's seat, so we have to make this quick. Get us the fuck now do it yourself or make jane do it. jane's not around how do you think we got stuck with basic bitch barbie she has that walking half chub jug mm -hmm. under her weird little fucking love spell love spell i swear to god rita if that dick gets anywhere near my fucking bush i'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> okay and if i get fucked you get fucked is that what her power is karen mm -hmm. i want nothing more than for you to be happy really i do but maybe just Slow down. You're right. I totally hear you. I can't go another day without oh, being no. my wife. Oh no. <laughs> Would you do me the honor of becoming my husband? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she just waltzes in your life. She tears it to shreds and then she breezes out whenever it suits her. Dude, she's a ticking time bomb. Stay out of this, Mick. The last time she left, you wouldn't get out of bed for six months? If you marry Karen, then that's it. We're done. I mean, Do you kind of get the parents. Well? Just choose love. Yeah, it is. Yes. Oh my yes. God. Oh, oh, my God. God. No, I love you so much. For fucking Christ's sake. 